Hey. Kick the camera. Two pills, once a day. Number one. Number two. Glass of water. So yeah, went out and uh, you know, I feel like it's all really great, it's really good, but at my core, I almost feel like I'm lying to myself. It's hard to explain. I wish I understood it better. I've been telling myself that I'm depressed. And I guess in some ways that's true, but I try to maintain a, uh, a forward outlook positive outlook, but when it boils right down to it, I am just sad to my core. And I try and understand that I can't blame it on the HIV. I can accept that on a very real level. I think what it ends up being, to a large degree, is having had my heart not broken, but just obliterated. It, uh, it just feels like, and I know it's stupid to think this, but it just feels like I'm never going to have that again. I see guys that I'm interested in, that I like the look of, that I like how they act and move and speak. And part of me just does not trust that anymore. I don't understand what it is. I, I've always been a very trusting person. I've always believed what people had to say to me. But lately, Whenever a guy shows interest in me, I automatically assume that, you know, they're not what they seem, they're not who they say they are, and, uh, and why put forth an effort for something that is just going to end up hurting me? And I've got to get past this. Um, Going out tonight, I saw this guy that I've been interested in and uh, flirted with, albeit briefly, for several months. Um, I saw him on the street and he uh, acted interested, and God knows I'm interested, but it's like I've got this existential angst about the whole idea of actually seeing and meeting and falling in love and being that involved again. I'm only 42. I mean, I've got all these years ahead of me, regardless of HIV infection. I don't want to be alone. I want to think that there's somebody out there that I can share my life with. Somebody who likes the same kind of music, the same kind of comedy, the same things that, that touch the heart, that spark the interest, that spark the intellect. 
and move with that and grow and really feel it deep inside to the core. Uh, but after my last experience, that core just feels like it is a black hole. And it doesn't matter what I put into it, it's just never going to be there again for me. Um, I hope that's not true. I, I really want to get past this. And I guess I can look at the Sestiva, I can look at the Truvada and think these side effects are making me anxious, they're making me worry more than I normally would, they're making me feel all these things deeper or more intensely than I normally would. But I don't know that that's true. I think in a lot of ways it's the same situation that I've been dealing with but for a lot of my life. Um, when I fall in love, I fall in love hard. And I don't call it love unless I really think it is love. I have been with guys out of comfort and, you know, genuinely liking them, but there's only been two guys in my life that I've been in love with that developed into love. And when that didn't work out, it was such a blow to my being that how do I, how do I go on? I, I, a lot of people do. A lot of people move from relationship to relationship to relationship. And they make these things work for themselves. And they continue to have a good time with it. And are able to develop these new loves, but I just don't get it. It takes me years to be ready to move on again. And I really wish that I was a lot more like these people that can just go from, from day to day to day. And I say that, and I don't really mean it. I mean, when I'm in love, I want to know that I'm in love. I don't want to be a relationship junkie. But I miss that intimacy. I miss that closeness. I, I miss the communication and the joy of it. I'm, uh, and I know it's way too early for me to even seriously consider thinking about dating again, or falling in love for that matter. I need to give myself time to get used to my new situation and this new way of being before I can really involve somebody in it. But anyway, that's just where my head's at tonight. I'll keep talking, I'll keep feeling, I'll keep hoping, and I am so grateful that there are so many people out there who are so interested in how I'm doing, and I appreciate it, and I thank you very much. You all have a good night, and I'll be talking. Bye-bye.